welcome, dear listeners. Tonight, we invite you to enter a world of tranquility and wonder. A world where the gentle cadence of storytelling lulls you into a peaceful slumber. Nestle into your warm cocoon of blankets. Close your eyes and allow the soothing tale that follows to guide you into a realm of coziness and quietude. In the soft glow of moonlight, we embark on a journey through a garden that comes alive with magic and harmony, where the smallest wonders hold the mightiest of dreams. Let the melody of this story cradle you in its gentle arms, soothing your soul and carrying you away to a place where worries fade and dreams take flight. As we begin, imagine the delicate rustle of leaves, the hushed whispers of nature, and the enchanting symphony of the night, the perfect backdrop for our tale to unfurl. Let us weave a narrative that whispers in the quietest of tones, letting you surrender to a peaceful embrace, carried away by the melody of a calming night's sleep. In a quaint cottage, Nestled at the edge of a blooming meadow, there resided a kind-hearted old woman who yearned for the laughter and warmth of a child to fill her days. Her eyes, once bright with youthful dreams, were now softened by the passage of time, brimming with a love that longed to be shared. One day, as the sun cast its golden rays upon her weathered windows, a soft knock echoed through the wooden walls. The old woman opened the door to find a peculiar package on her doorstep, wrapped in glistening leaves and tied with a delicate ribbon. Mystified by this unexpected gift, she brought it inside her hands trembling with anticipation. As the clock ticked on, the room filled with a subtle glow, and the package unwrapped itself to reveal a tiny, shimmering seed. It emanated an ethereal light, captivating the old woman and infusing her heart with newfound hope. She knew this seed was no ordinary gift, but a symbol of something magical, something that could grant her deepest wish. Driven by a mix of curiosity and faith, she found a special pot and tenderly placed the seed within, cradling it in her hands. She whispered words of love and dreams, nurturing the seed with the gentlest touch, as if coaxing the very essence of life to awaken within it. Days turned into weeks, and the old woman's patience and care bore fruit. The seed burst forth, revealing a mesmerizing sight. A delicate, miniature girl, no taller than a thumb. Her skin was as smooth as a petal, her eyes sparkled like morning dew, and her hair flowed in waves like spun gold. The old woman named her Thumbelina, for she was a marvel as small and wondrous as a thumb's touch. Thumbelina, in her new and miniature form, filled the old woman's heart with joy and purpose. A bond was forged, a tale yet to unfold, 
as the humble abode buzzed with the magic of new beginnings. The winds whispered promises of adventure and love, setting the rhythm for the journey that lay ahead for Thumbelina. As the morning sun painted the sky with hues of pink and gold, Thumbelina's world came alive within the heart of a blooming flower. Nestled within the soft petals of a tulip, her home was a miniature marvel, a cozy haven that bore the fragrance of dreams and the warmth of love. The interior of the flower was adorned with delicate petals fashioned into furniture, a petal canopy sheltering her bed and the floor lined with the softest down feathers from the garden's resident birds. A small, glistening pond nearby provided her with fresh dewdrops each morning, ensuring she had all she needed in this enchanting abode. In this captivating dwelling, Thumbelina's heart danced to the rhythm of nature. She welcomed the company of friendly insects, like ladybugs and butterflies, who often visited, sharing tales of their travels and dreams. Birds serenaded her with sweet songs, and a curious mouse named Whiskers made occasional visits, their friendship blooming in the heart of the garden. Thumbelina's gentle, and caring nature radiated through every gesture she made. She diligently tended to her flower home, ensuring it remained a welcoming sanctuary for all. She took time to listen to the stories of her insect and bird friends, offering kind words and a comforting presence. Her days were filled with acts of kindness, sharing laughter and joy with her newfound companions. With each passing day, the garden became a tapestry of friendship, love, and harmony, the rhythm of Thumbelina's life interwoven with the beating heart of the natural world. The garden flourished embracing Thumbelina and her friends, promising a symphony of adventures and shared dreams that would echo through the days yet to come. One morning, as the sun's first rays kissed the horizon, Thumbelina ventured out of her cozy flower home to bask in the garden's morning glow. As she twirled amidst the blossoms, a soft fluttering of wings caught her attention. It was a graceful swallow, its feathers shimmering in the dawn's light, descending to the garden. The swallow introduced himself as Skylar, his eyes reflecting kindness and curiosity. Intrigued by Thumbelina's miniature form and gentle demeanor, Skylar struck up a conversation. He shared tales of his travels, describing the vastness of the world beyond the garden, the towering trees, sprawling meadows, and expansive skies. Thumbelina, captivated by Skylar's stories, felt a flutter of excitement in her heart. The tales painted a canvas of endless possibilities and adventures beyond the petals of her flower home. She imagined the whispering winds, the fragrance of distant blooms, and the songs of distant lands, all awaiting her discovery. The swallow's tales ignited a longing within Thumbelina, a desire to venture beyond her known world. 
to explore the vast expanse that lay beyond her cozy abode. She yearned to experience the rhythm of the wide world, to dance to the beat of new friendships, and embrace the melody of unfamiliar places. Skylar's visit became a turning point in Thumbelina's life, expanding her horizons and setting the rhythm of her heart to the melody of wanderlust. The garden, once her entire universe, now beckoned her to spread her wings and join the symphony of life beyond its boundaries. Little did she know, her story was about to crescendo into a grand adventure beyond her wildest dreams. As the days turned into weeks, Thumbelina's enchanting presence within the garden drew the attention of suitors from different corners. One morning, while tending to her flower home, a plump frog named Frederick hopped his way into her world. With a croaky voice and gleaming eyes, he declared his affection for Thumbelina, desiring her hand in marriage, captivated by her delicate beauty. Shortly after, a stout mole named Monty burrowed into her garden abode, expressing similar intentions. Monty was smitten by Thumbelina's charm and envisioned a life together beneath the Earth's surface. Despite their compliments and apparent affections, Thumbelina's heart was not swayed. She valued kindness love, and understanding above all else, seeking a companion who shared her values and was similar in size. Frederick's damp, cold nature and Monty's subterranean lifestyle did not align with her dreams. Summoning her courage and kindness, she gently declined their proposals, appreciating their interest but explaining that their paths were not destined to intertwine. She yearned for a partner with a heart as warm and gentle as her own, someone who could share her passion for nature and the beauty of the world. Though she longed for companionship, Thumbelina remained true to her heart patiently waiting for fate to introduce her to a soul who would resonate with her rhythm, bringing harmony to the symphony of her life. Little did she know, destiny had a serenade prepared that would soon lead her to her destined melody. One sunny afternoon, Thumbelina, her heart yearning for adventure, decided to explore the forest beyond the garden. As she wandered deeper into the woods, the canopy above grew thick and dark, and before she knew it, she had lost her way. Anxiety and fear pulsed through her tiny frame as she realized she was lost. In her distress, she heard a melodic voice, gentle as a summer breeze, calling out to her. Following the soothing sound, she stumbled upon a clearing adorned with flowers that glowed like stars. There stood a kind and gentle fairy prince named Ailer, his wings shimmering with iridescent hues. Ailer sensed Thumbelina's fear and calmed her with his reassuring words. He extended his hand, offering her comfort and guidance. Taking her hand, he led her through a secret passage to his magical realm, 
a breathtaking kingdom hidden from the eyes of the world. Thumbelina was in awe of the fairy kingdom's beauty. Glittering streams flowed through lush meadows. Majestic trees danced to the whispering winds, and colorful flowers bloomed in a splendid symphony of colors. The air was filled with the sweet melody of laughter and joy. Ilar introduced Thumbelina to his caring family, a queen with a heart as gentle as the morning dew, and a king whose wisdom was as deep as the ancient forest. The royal family embraced her warmly, instantly recognizing the kindness and grace that radiated from her. In this magical realm, Thumbelina found solace, acceptance, and a sense of belonging. She marveled at the generosity and love that enveloped her, realizing she had discovered a world that harmonized perfectly with the rhythm of her heart. The melody of her life was resonating with the gentle hum of the fairy kingdom, promising a symphony of love and companionship that she had always longed for. As the days unfolded in the magical fairy realm, Thumbelina and Prince Ilar spent cherished moments together, their hearts gradually forming a deep bond. They discovered a shared love for nature's wonders, spending hours exploring the beauty of their kingdom, sharing stories of their past, dreams for the future, and marveling at the delicate balance of the natural world. Their hearts beat in harmony, the rhythm of their laughter and conversations echoing the love that was blooming between them. They supported each other's dreams and aspirations, encouraging one another to embrace their individuality while growing together as a couple. As their affection blossomed into love, Thumbelina and Alar knew they had found their soulmates. They felt a profound connection, their love transcending size and differences. One magical evening, under the twinkling stars and amidst the soft glow of fireflies, they declared their love for each other. Alar presented Thumbelina with a delicate flower ring, a symbol of their eternal love and commitment. With tears of joy and heartfelt smiles, they promised to stand by each other through life's ups and downs, to support and cherish one another, and to create a beautiful melody of love that would resonate through their lives. Thumbelina was now certain that she had found her true soulmate, and the fairy realm had become her rightful home. It was a place where she could love and be loved, a place where her heart could dance to the rhythm of Alar's love. Forever certain, that she had found her place in the grand symphony of life. With their love sealed and their hearts intertwined, Thumbelina and Prince Elar embarked on a journey back to her familiar garden. As they soared through the skies, hand in hand, Thumbelina marveled at the beauty of the world from a vantage point she had never experienced before. During their flight, an idea blossomed in Thumbelina's
Lena's mind. A way to merge her two worlds and share the joy she had found. She realized that she could bring her new family and friends from the fairy kingdom to coexist harmoniously in her beloved garden. The thought of this possibility filled her with excitement and anticipation. Upon their arrival in the garden, a magical air tingled with anticipation. Thumbelina introduced her magical friends from the fairy realm to her animal companions. A lively gathering of curious insects, cheerful birds, and furry critters. The garden was abuzz with energy and laughter as they exchanged stories, songs, and laughter, blending their unique rhythms into a harmonious melody. Thumbelina's heart swelled with happiness as she witnessed her friends from both worlds, forming new bonds and friendships. She knew that this harmonious fusion would enrich their lives, creating a vibrant tapestry of love and friendship that would resonate throughout the garden. As the sun dipped below the horizon, painting the sky in hues of red and gold, Thumbelina knew that she had fulfilled her dreams of unity and love. The garden had become a true home for her, where love, kindness, and togetherness would forever echo in its rhythm, spreading the magic of love to all its inhabitants. Amidst the fragrant blooms and under the shimmering moonlight, a grand celebration was held in honor of Thumbelina and Prince Alar's love and union. The garden transformed into a magical haven, decorated with twinkling fireflies and colorful petals, a sight that took everyone's breath away. All the creatures from the garden and the fairy kingdom joined in the festivities, creating a vibrant tapestry of joy and unity. In the heart of the garden, they danced to the rhythm of love, laughter, and shared dreams, celebrating the merging of two worlds into one harmonious melody. Songs were sung, stories were told, and laughter echoed through the night as the celebration continued. The air was filled with the sweet scent of flowers and the melodious tunes of the enchanted garden. It was a true testament to the power of love and unity. Thumbelina and Prince Ailer, the guests of honor, radiated with happiness and gratitude. Their love had brought together not only their hearts, but also the hearts of an entire community, forging bonds that would last a lifetime. In the days that followed, Thumbelina and the fairy prince lived a life filled with love, kindness, and adventure. They nurtured their newfound family and friends embarking on journeys through the garden and the magical fairy realm. Every day was a new note in the melody of their lives, a beautiful and harmonious composition of love and togetherness. Their story became an eternal song, resonating through the garden inspiring generations with the promise that love and unity can create a melody that transcends boundaries, weaving a tapestry of joy and happiness for all. And 
so, their love story continued. A timeless reminder that love knows no bounds, and it can create a rhythm that reverberates through the ages.